Well, it's only taken a few years, but I finally completed the trifecta of Mega Man music related videos. And might I remind you, I've already made a few videos on the best classic series stage themes and Mega Man boss battle music. So if you're looking for songs like this, please click up above. Today, in my final Mega Man music related video, we are taking a look into the X series stages. There is no question that the X-Series has some of the best music from the entire Mega Man franchise. Everything from the iconic shredding guitars and machine gun drums from the Super Nintendo, to the echoey synth and strings from the PS1, there's a little something for everyone here. I've done my due diligence and listened to all the Mega Man X soundtracks an excruciating amount of times to come up with a list of my favorites. It's a pretty diverse list, but I'm sure you'll recognize some of the tracks here. Without further ado, here are my top 20 Mega Man X stage songs of all time. Starting this list off is one of the most unique Mega Man X tracks in all of existence. Something about Blizzard Buffalo's theme just speaks snow level. Like I'm half expecting to see that snowman head from Super Mario 64 randomly crash into the stage. The theme has a shrill and echoing synth reminding me faintly of bells in the distance and really does something dark that I just can't put my finger on. Certainly underrated in my opinion and I love it. Dang, holy 80s, man. The intro of Slash Beast's theme is epic. It has that low banging piano and short electronic notes that help you realize that this song is a real bopper. Once the melody kicks in, it gets me all sorts of pumped up. The beat certainly does its best to keep up with Mega Man as he traverses the perilous train in search of Slash Beast himself. And did I mention this song is long? I love Mega Man X4's tracks for that very reason, so this is one that I keep on repeat as much as possible. The first thing I thought of when putting this on my list was, man, there is good elevator music. The song that plays in Mega Man X8 during the elevator section is one of the rockinest tunes out there. It's got this kind of funky vibe to it, and the whole thing just jams. I originally didn't care for this track, but it's probably because I couldn't hear anything else over Axel's EAT THIS! TAKE THAT! phrases over and over and over and over again. My gosh. It's true, not all music in Mega Man X8 is bad, and this song is certainly living proof of that. Although both of X4 and X5's Zero themes are great, X5's absolutely takes the cake for me. It progresses so seamlessly from power metal to a melodic drum-heavy ballad. It also seems to fit Zero so much better than any of his other themes throughout the entirety of the X series. This song just gets me so incredibly hyped every moment that I boot the game. Zero is so dang cool and can only be wholly justified by having awesome music to go along with his cool dude vibe. There's so much debate between Mega Man X2 and X3's opening stage music, and while both are definitely amazing, X3's just stands out more to me. Perhaps it's the pulsing bass in the background, or the high-pitched intro synth, or maybe even the triplets from the guitar towards the end. Okay, so pretty much every part of this song is an absolute banger. There is little in my childhood as nostalgic as watching X and Zero take down that airship at the beginning of the game with this blasting in the background. Do yourself a favor and check out this tune's extended version so you can jam out with me. Ok, 
Okay, so this one is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine because we need to get one thing straight. There is nothing else about this stage or the Maverick that are even the faintest hint of cool. I mean, this YouTube comment really says it all. That and just listening to Vanishing Gungaroo's damage sound. Oh man, Ugh, is he enjoying this? At any rate, I really like the music in this song and the beginning guitar and bass just mesh so well together. You can bash me all you want, but I can definitely jam to this one. The thing I remember the most about Dark Dizzy's theme was the ominous but tranquil view of the stars in the distance. I just think this theme fits the stage so incredibly well, even if Alia keeps interrupting every five seconds for dialogue. The initial part of the theme is epic enough, but as the music begins to change, it amps up just to remind you of the impending boss battle at the end of the stage. Mix this awesome stage music with the rumbling explosions from X's weapon shots, and you have yourself an unreal combo. Dang, this bass intro is freaking awesome! Scratch that, the bass is amazing in the entire song! Probably the best bass line from the entire franchise if we're being honest. There is just something about how majestic of a song is playing during the first Sigma level of the entire franchise. I couldn't make a list without it. I vividly remember setting the controller down and rocking out to this tune by myself when I was growing up. What? Don't judge me. Either way, it's hard to deny how powerful this track is or the legacy that it's left on Mega Man X forever. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm quite a big fan of unique video game music, and Commander Yamark's theme from Mega Man X6 may be the most unique in the entire franchise. Despite being the chill penguin of his respective game, there's something about the rumbling tom-toms and almost whimsical flute and harp sounds that echo in my brain. It's so incredibly catchy, and I love it. So although it may only be 40 seconds long, Magna Centipede's theme is so incredibly underrated. The drums and bass are absolutely out of control in this one and really emphasize the desperation and urgency to this stage. I can still hear those alarms even if I listen to the OST on its own. It's freaking crazy. X2 might be mostly overshadowed by the original game, but it's songs like this that help it stand out from many others in the entire Mega Man series. It's one of the most underrated games, in my opinion. To the top 10 we go! Now this song is really where we start rocking. It's hard for me to even imagine X anymore without thinking of this intro theme from Mega Man X4. It's literally the quintessential X song. I remember as a kid I would reset the game constantly in order to hear this song until I actually broke my PS1. Now that is dedication my friends. It may not have been the best aged compared to some of the tracks on the list, but it will always remain in my memories as one of my favorites of all time. Coming 
Coming in at number nine is a twofer, and the result of what happens when you drop your mixtape into the ocean and someone else uses it. Bubble Crab's theme has that bassy vibe akin to Mega Man X2, and Duff McWhalen comes in a few games later and spices things up with a bit of a twangy guitar sound and echoing bells. Both tracks are equally as good in my opinion, and it was cool to see the track recycled but changed up enough to really suit an entirely new Maverick. It's one of the most iconic songs in Mega Man history. Heck yes! Another Mega Man fan, Dookie Shed, put it best when describing Armored Armadillo's theme as a metal electronic swing jam. I mean, that couldn't be any closer to the truth. Not that I really know what a swing jam is, but you get the point. It's really the perfect fit for a track that literally takes you for a ride while traversing a mineshaft full of reploid scum. The guitars and synth are some of the best in the business here, and it is one of the main reasons I love it so dang much. Not to mention the guitar solo towards the end, it always gets me up out of my seat. I mean, I'm literally boogieing just listening to it now. Just so much energy. Ready? Dies. <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell you how many times I heard the intro to this song just because of how many times I die right after. Squid Adler's theme just has this rock and feel to it that's balanced out by the melody of the bells and synth after the break. It's really the perfect song to play when you're flying through the air on a super fast speed bike. One of my favorite parts is right before the loop when the beat repeats itself several times before continuing the song over again. No question, one of the best songs in Mega Man history. out of any song on this list, this is probably one of the most unique. Many people will fly through the entirety of X4 without realizing how amazing this track is. Given the fact that Cyber Peacock hides in the network of all places, his theme is incredibly fitting to the atmosphere that the stage gives off. It sounds so mysterious and exploratory. I certainly didn't appreciate this one as much as I would have when I was a kid, but over time I have grown to love it. And Cyber Peacock is a pretty dang cool maverick, if you ask me. When I hear of memorable Mega Man tracks, Spark Mandrill's theme instantly comes to mind. I love the synth guitars so much in this song, and the way the bass line just bumps along is so incredibly catchy. Not to mention the fact that Spark Mandrill himself is cool enough to probably pick up a guitar and start playing this amazing theme. More than likely, it's one of the most covered Mega Man songs in all of existence, but it really is that good. Don't believe me? Listen for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most face-melting, brain-stirring track in the entire Mega Man X franchise. It's an absolute legend of speed metal, 
And Blaze Heatnix even has a ridiculously metal name. It kind of sounds like Jimi Hendrix. For as talented as he was, we all know Jimi didn't quite shred like this bird. Not only was this song amazing, but the stage was nothing to shake a stick at either. Definitely one of the hardest in the entire series. I literally have nightmares of playing it. I once heard a rumor that this song was originally slated to play at the background of X5's X vs. Zero, but was cut for being too difficult to focus. I don't know about the rumor, but I could believe it. The moment I heard this song, I just knew things were about to go down. Mega Man X2 will always be one of my favorite Mega Man games, and this theme absolutely captures the tension and excitement I felt making my way to the end stages for the first time. The intro guitars are just too dang powerful to forget, and the melody of this synth is incredible. It's a shame the song is the shortest stage theme in the series, but I love it regardless. incredibly close between this and number one. Gravity Beetle's theme is the most overlooked song in all of Mega Man X. X3 is incredibly overshadowed by the other SNES installments, but this is one of the best video game songs of all time. It's sheer epicness at its core, and it's a song that I can't say enough about. The closing guitar sequence juxtaposed against the backdrop of the sunset. Oh my gosh, it's absolute perfection. Gravity Beetle may not be the coolest Maverick in the world, but he certainly has one of the best themes. So we've made it all the way to the grand finale. But before we jump headfirst into my favorite Mega Man X stage theme ever, let's take a look at some honorable mentions that were pretty good, but not quite enough to make my list. I don't care how many times I listen to it, this song will always be what reminds me of Mega Man X. It's my favorite X track in existence. It's extremely short, but there are no frills here. Just pure awesomeness. The ambience it creates just really puts you in the zone of killing robots and destroying Mavericks. It's pure awesomeness. The stage's airship theme is nostalgic, and it makes for an amazing experience playing the game now. I mean, lots of things have changed over the years, but my love for Storm Eagle's theme is eternal.
All right, guys, what are some of your favorite X stage themes in existence? Please leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing, smashing that bell for notifications, and even throwing a like on the video and sharing with your friends. As we round out 2020, I wanted to thank all of the new subscribers and the new viewers for a wonderful year, and here's to more in 2021. As always, guys, I'll catch you next time.